Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to cover almost all SQL commands. So let us start. Okay. So the very first thing is to create the database. Command to create database is create database db. Right. So my database has been created. If you want to see this, okay, the command is show databases. It will show you all the databases that I have created earlier. See, so I have just created DB. So we can find DB here. See, DB is here. Since this is not a case sensitive language, so you can write either in the capital letter or in the small letter. Okay. Now my database has been created. It's time to open the database so that we can insert the table in, inside the database. So how you will open the database? The command is use db. Right. Now I have opened db database. Right. Okay. How you can remove the database, how you can drop the database. Now, if you want to remove any database, what is the command? Command is drop database, database name, drop database, database name, drop database DB. Okay. So here I'm removing this database, right? Again, if I'll see my databases, show databases no you cannot find db database in the list of databases here okay so i am using one of these databases that i have created earlier so here here i am using school database cool. now we have learned how to create the database. Now the next command is how to create the tables that are stored inside the database, right? Now I am using this school database. Uh, first of all, I want to see how many tables are already present in the school database. So the command is show tables. Now you can see these are the tables which are already present in school database. Now I am going to create one more table here. Create table, table name. I'm giving student as the table name. Enter. Shift plus number nine key that is circular bracket. So these are the column that I'm giving row number integer type right then s name that is student name where care where care contains the character value i have given the limit 30 then we can give the dob that is date of birth date data type and then marks Okay, I'm taking it in, in float. Float contains fractional value, right? Close the and then semicolon. Now my table has been created here. If I want to see the structure of my table, what is the command? The command is describe or DESC table name. D-E-S-C-R-I-B-E. Either you can write the full describe or you just write DESC student. Now my table has been created. Here we can see the structure of the table. Now the table is created. It's time to insert the value in the table. So what is the command? Insert into student values one name Rohan 
then date of birth date of birth you will give in year month day format and it should be enclosed in single quotes or double quotes then marks 78 right so once again i am giving the same data because i have not imposed any constraint so it can contain duplicate data as well okay let let me change the roll number here to and date of birth i am changing 6 mark i am changing 45 right okay one more method insert into student you can give the name of the columns roll number s name dob marks values right i am taking three here neha and Eighty-nine. Right. So I have inserted three records in the table. Okay. So how you can see these record? In order to view the records of the table, we will use select command. And what is the command? Select star from table name. So table name is student. now this is the table here okay select command is used to access or retrieve certain specified information from the database table here i have selected the whole table we can also select some columns of the table right like we can write select roll number s name from student here i am selecting only two columns of the table see right okay now the next command is distinct command and this command is used to eliminate the redundant data from the table what is redundant redundant data the duplicate data now intentionally i have inserted rohan two times so that we can make use of the distinct command here i want to remove that duplicate data right so in order to remove the duplicate data we make use of distinct command how you can do that what is the command select so here i am using the distinct keyword in order to eliminate the distinct data sorry in order to eliminate the redundant data that is duplicate data select distinct s name from student now here we can see in the resultant table rohan has come only one time so duplicate data has been removed by using the distinct keyword right okay okay if i want to remove rows from the table what is the command that is delete command the delete command removes rows from the table and how we can use this command see select from student where s name is equal to 
Rohan. Right? So I have given the command. Oh, oh, instead of uh, delete, I have written select here. So, uh, so it will show me the data of the Rohan. So, I will write delete. from student delete from student where s name is equal to rohan right now if i want to see the records of the table select star from Student. Okay. The records having the S name Rohan has been deleted. So in this way, you can delete the records of the table. Now, what if I want to delete the whole table or if I want to remove the whole table, then what is the command? Right. If you want to delete all the records of the table, right. Instead of giving the condition, if you want to delete all the records of the table, in one go, what is the command? Simply write delete from student. So it will delete all the records of the table student. Now if I want to see select star from student, it will show me the empty set. Now empty set because there is no data, no records in the table student. right now i have deleted all the records of the table but but still i have the structure of the table that is stored inside the database i have the table that is empty so i want to remove the structure of the table as well so what is the command to remove the if i'll write the command show tables you can see the table still exists student table still exists right but this is empty table now i want to remove the complete table from the database so what is the command command is drop table student right now if i see the show tables if i'll give the show table commands so we don't have student table now in the database. Why? Because I have dropped it. I have removed the table. So now we have different operators to retrieve the data from the table. Here I am using the table which is already I have created here EMPL. Let us suppose I want to see the table. Record the table. Select so star from EMPL. Right. This is my table. Right. So here I am going to use. We have learned how to create the table, how to drop the table, how to create the database, how to drop the database, how to insert the data in the table, how to delete the data from the table, and how to drop the table, right? Now, we are going to use the SQL operators to retrieve the data or to retrieve the records from the table. So we have different operators like between, in, like, is, null. So we'll, we will make use of these operators here. Okay, so first I am making use of this is my table EMPL, right? So here I want to display the records of the employees whose salary falls between 10,000 to 30,000, right? Here, this is my employee table, and I want to display the records of the employees whose salary falls with 
between 10,000 to 30,000. So here I'll make use of where between operator, right? So what would be the command? Select star from EMPL, right? Where cell between ten thousand and thirty thousand. So I want to show the records of the employees whose salary is between ten thousand and thirty thousand. Ten thousand and thirty thousand both are inclusive. That means the lower value and the upper value both will be included in the resultant table. So if I press enter here, we can see I have got the result. 30,000 is included here, right? The salary from 10,000 to 30,000. Right. Now the next operator is in operator. Okay. So what is the use of in operator? In operator allows to specify list of values in which searching will be performed, right? So we have list of value from that list, we have to search the value, right? It will return all those records that matches any value in a given list of values. For example, if I want to display the records of employees who belong to either salesman or manager department, the query will be select star from EMPL where department in here I'm making use of in operator in salesman or manager. Right, so I have got the result. Wherever I have the department salesman or manager, I that particular record has been come. Okay, so this is the use of in operator. Now we also have not in operator. The not in operator finds the records that do not match in the list. Here I have got the record that is matching with the that is that is matching with the string values I have given in the list, right? Now I have not in operator. So uh, if I want to display the records of employees who do not belong to either salesman or manager department, what would be the query? The query would be flex star from EMPL. Now here instead of in, I am writing not in so it will show me the records where the department is not in salesman or manager okay apart from salesman or manager right so there, wherever the department should not be salesman or manager right so here we can say the department clerk president analyst they all have come but the records of salesmen and managers have not Okay, no. SQL also have also include a string matching operator that is like for comparison on character strings using patterns, right? So here we will make use of string matching operators. Okay, so these are first select star from EMPL where E name that is employee name like like S 
percentage okay so i have given the command select records from the employee table where the e name starts with s right percentage means it could be any sub string after s so here you can see the e name which has started with s records of those employees have come one more command we can write here right uh, if i want to display the records of employees whose name is of five letters and with n what would be the command till star from empl here e name like one two three four here i have given the four underscore for the four four characters right four underscore four four character then n so where the employee name should be of five characters and it should end with n letter n so here we can see the result right okay now we have another operator that is is null since null is not considered as a value so we cannot compare with equal to sign so to compare with null sql provide is null so if, uh, if i want to get the record where any value is null how i i'll get that record select star from empl where salary is null here i am not writing where salary is equal to null this is wrong why because null is not a value so instead of where salary is equal to null i am writing where salary is null so here i am making use of the operator is null so we can see and the record has come here in the same way we can make use of not null not null select start from empl where salary is not null see okay the next command that we will do is update command what is the use of update command sometimes we need to change some or all of the values in an existing row this can be done using the update command that means if we want to do changes in the records of the table we can use update command right so how we will use that i am taking one example here update empl this is the name of the table set salary equal to salary plus 5000 where job is equal to clerk sorry we don't have job we have department here department is clerk now it has been changed again we will see
now the salary of we can see the comparison here the salary of clerk department has increased by 5000 so the update command specifies the rows to be changed using the where clause right in where clause we will give the con condition using the where clause and the new data is entered using the set keyword so what is the command update ampl ampl is the name of the table set right set salary equal to salary plus 5000 where the department is clerk right now we can also update multiple columns of the table using update command how we can do that again update a and PL. Set department number equal to eighty comma salary equal to ninety thousand Where department is equal to manager, right? So here I have given, I am going to update two columns. First is department number and second is salary, right? By putting comma in between the, these two columns. So here we can update multiple columns by separating them using the comma. Here I am updating two columns right update EMPL set department number equal to 80 and salary equal to 90,000 where the department is manager right okay now again let's start from EMPL now we can see department number is 80 and the salary is 90,000 where ever the department is manager. Now, we can also update any record as null, right? By using the update command. Or you can see the null values can also be entered in the table just as other values by using the update command. So how we will do that? Okay, so here I have given the condition update EMPL set salary equal to null where the department is clerk. Right, now we will see. Select star from EMPL, right. So wherever I have department clerk, the salary has become null. Okay. So moving towards to the next command that is sorting result. And how we can sort the result of the resultant table by using the order by clause. Okay. 
let us take one example i want to what is sorting that means arranging the records of the table either in the ascending order or in the descending order the order by clause allows sorting of the query results by one or more columns the sorting can be done either in ascending or descending order but by default the order are always sort in ascending order okay here you should know that the data in the table is not sorted only the result that appear on the screen are sorted so Select start from EMPL order by ENA. So here I am going to arrange the table according to the column E name. Right now you, we can see the uh, it has been arranged in ascending order. So in this way we can arrange. The data of the resultant table. Okay, if I want to arrange the records in descending order, how I'll do that? The command is same. Only just I have to add one word that is descending. D E S A descending. Select star from employee order by E name descending. Now see, it has been arranged in descending order. Okay, so here I have arranged only, I have arranged the records of the table using one column. We can also use sorting on multiple columns. Ordering can be performed on multiple columns, right? So here we can see that. So I am using one more table here. This is my EMP table. Right. So I am going to use order by clause in this table. Click start from EMP. Order by roll number. I want to arrange in ascending order. So I have given the ASC. By default, also it will arrange in ascending order. ASC and ID. I want to arrange in descending order. So I have given the DASC. Now here. You can see roll number arranged in ascending order and ID arranged in descending order. So we can also sort multiple columns by using order by clause. Right. Okay. Now next we have group by clause. what is the use of group by clause group by clause is used to divide the table into logical groups and we can perform aggregate function in those groups right in this case aggregate function will return output for each group so group by clause is used to divide the table in the form of logical groups so that we can perform aggregate functions on these groups right so, okay, and you should know what are uh, aggregate functions. These are uh, sum function, average function, max function, all these are what? These are aggregate functions. Okay, so let us take one example. Um, again, I, I'm using EMPL table.
Okay, this is my EMPL table. So in the department, we can say I have clerk, department, salesman, department, manager, all these I'm having here. So suppose the organization wants the sum of all sum of salary of all the departments separately, right? Means sum of salary of particular departments or wants to find the average salary of every department. In this case, we have to logically divide our table into groups based on department. So that every group will be passed to aggregate function for calculation and aggregate function will return the result for every group. So we will use group by clause here. How? Select department. Sum. This is my aggregate function that I'm putting on the salary column from EMPL. by department right so what is the command select department this column and sum of salary according to the department right so department the table will be divided logically according to the departments right now here we can say we have the sum of salary of analyst department sum of salary of clerk department manager president and salesman department Okay, one more example we can take. Department, sum of salary. Then, average of salary. And Max salary department wise, min salary department wise, maximum salary department wise, minimum salary department wise from EMPL. Group by department now here we can see we have got the sum according to the departments every salary then maximum salary okay within the department and minimum salary within the department now we will make use of having clause here so what is the use of having clause? The having clause is used to place condition on groups. Here I have created the group by using group by clause. So we will use having clause along with group by clause, right? Okay, and by with having clause, we can use aggregate functions also. So let us see the use of having clause here. Where clause is what is the difference between having and where clause? Where clause is used to specify condition for single records or few records, right? And uh, having clause is used to specify condition on group of records. And we cannot use uh, where clause along with the aggregate function, but we can use having clause along with the aggregate functions. Select department, every salary, sum of salary from AMPL group by department. 
now with the help of having close i am putting the condition here having department is equal to manager so instead of ba clause i am using having clause here why because having clause is used along with group clause to impose condition on the groups of table the logically divided groups of table now so here i have imposed condition on a particular group right okay so the next command that we have is alter table command what is the use of alter table command alter table command is used to perform different operations like adding new column in the existing table dropping existing column from the table modifying column definition changing the name of the column adding or dropping constraint after table creation means we can make changes in the structure of the table after the creation of the table by using the alter table command right okay so let us create one table here let me see okay if i am making one table here one because i all i have already the mpl one name department twenty and then every eight upload right so i have created one table here i want to see the structure so describe command here empl1 this is the structure of the table okay now if i want to add one more column in the table i'll use the alter command now let us suppose i want to add alter table empl1 add add designation where care thirty okay now again we can see the structure of the table see now one more column has been added here that is designation we can also drop the column by using the alter command now empl1 drop basic nation so here you can see i have dropped the designation column okay so next i have i can also modify the column how alter table empl 1 modify name where care earlier where care is i have given the 20 here i am giving 40 
so i have increased the number of limit of number of characters that can be entered in name column right no describe empl so here we can see sorry describe empl1 so here we can see the character limit has been increased it has become 40 we can also change the name of the column by using the alter command like alter table empl1 change name name is the old name e name so e name is the new name right where care okay so i have given alter table empl1 change name as e name where care 40 so again we can see the structure of the table describe EMPL one so we can see we can see here name has been changed into E name right we can also modify the, uh, sorry we can also change the order of the column like alter table EMPL1 modify department here I have department department where K20 or I can take uh, okay department where care twenty first. So I want that the department column should appear first in the table. Again, describe EMPL one. So here we can see department has come to the first position. Okay, not only um, we can send any column to the first position, we can also modify in between like alter table EMPL1 modify department number modify depart department or we can modify the salary modify salary and after emp number right so i want to put the salary after employee number Now here you, you can see department column, employee number, and then I have salary. So I have placed the salary after employee number. We can also add the constraint or remove the constraint by using the alter command. Now, alter table, EMPL1, add.
primary key and primary key i'll put on emp number so here i have made emp number as primary key so again we will see the structure of the table now here we can see in the key column the emp number has become the primary key okay we can also drop the constraint from the table by using the alter command alter table empl1 drop primary key so i am dropping the primary key right so here you can see there is no key at all right few more topics are left like constraint joins that i have given in my other videos so if you want to um learn about these topics kindly go through my other uh, videos and uh, subscribe my channel also thank you very much